In this video, we're going to review the algebra of supply and demand as well as the algebra of excise taxes. So the question reads, consider the uh, market for gasoline. Suppose the demand and supply are given below, where quantity refers to millions of liters of gasoline per month and price is price per liter in cents. So the demand curve is price equals 80 minus 5 times the quantity demanded. The supply curve is the price equals 24 plus 2 QS. So we have a downward sloping demand curve and an upward sloping supply curve, which follow the laws of demand and supply. The first question is, what is the equilibrium in this market? The second question reads, suppose the government imposes a tax of 14 cents per liter. What would the new equilibrium look like in this market? And the final question is about incidence of taxation for the for the 14 cents tax. So let's look at the first question. So number one, so what is the equilibrium in this market? So we just need to invoke our equilibrium condition. We want to find a equilibrium price and quantity where these two lines cross each other. All right, so we have a price equals 80 minus five times QD. This is the demand curve and then the supply curve is price equals 24 plus 2QS. I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit here. So equilibrium, we're gonna set them equal to each other. 80 minus 5QD equals 24 plus 2QS. But remember, now we're invoking our equilibrium condition. So it's actually, we can think of instead of QS and QD, we just have Q star. Okay, so now we just need to solve this equation. So we can move the 24 over to the left-hand side and the 5Q over to the right. So we get 80 minus 24 equals 5Q star plus 2Q star. Solving this, we see that 80 minus 24 is 56 equals 7Q star, which means Q star equals 8. So that's our equilibrium quantity when there's no taxation. Then to figure out equilibrium price, we just plug that quantity into either of our supply, either our demand or supply curve. Okay, so let's figure that out now. So equilibrium price, so P star equals 24 plus 2 Q star. So P star equals 24 plus 2 times 8. P star equals 24 plus 16. So P star equals 40. So now we've solved for our equilibrium in our market when there's no taxation. We have a quantity of 8 million liters and a price of 40 cents per liter. So what that means is on some graph, if we we're drawing this market, price and quantity in the market for gas, demand and supply curves, what we just found is that Q star equals eight and P star equals 40. Okay, so now we need to think about how to solve this when there's a 14 cents um, tax, excise tax on gasoline. So I'm just gonna scroll down a bit more. So I'm just gonna rewrite our equations. So this is question two or part two. P equals 80 minus 5QD. P equals 24 plus 2QS. And now I'm going to put a PB on the demand curve and a PS on the supply curve. So remember, PB is the price the buyers have to pay, and PS is the price that the sellers get. And so now we have. You know, we want to solve for equilibrium quantity as well as the price the buyers pay and the price the sellers get. So we need kind of a third identity in order to solve this system of equations. 
And if we remember, that's that the price the buyers end up paying is equal to the price the sellers get plus whatever this tax is going to be equal to. And so in this case, the tax is 14 cents because we're expressing um, the price in cents already. It's 14, not 0.14 or something like that. So this gives us these three equations, one, two, and three to solve um, for the three things we need to solve for the quantity, the price the buyers pay and the price the sellers get. Okay, so let's start solving the system of equations. We're gonna sub equation three into equation one. And so we're gonna say PS plus 14 equals 80 minus 5QD. So we're kind of subbing in PS plus 14 equals PB in that first equation. So what that's saying is PS equals 80 minus 14 minus 5QD, or we can say PS equals 66 minus 5QD. Okay, so we can call this equation four. Now we're gonna invoke equilibrium by setting equation four equal to equation two up above. So now we have 66 minus five Q, no QD because it's equilibrium. And our supply curve is 24 plus two QS and that's just a Q now. It's equilibrium and now we just need to solve for equilibrium quantity. So 66 minus 24 equals 5Q plus 2Q. So 42 equals 7Q. So now Q equals 6. So we see that this quantity went down. It used to be 8. Now we have this tax at 6. Now we need to figure out PS and PB. PS equals 24 plus 2q star, ps equals 24 plus 2 times 6, because we just figured out the q star was equal to 6, ps equals 36. And we also know that pb equals ps plus 14, that's that third identity, that third equation we talked about above. So PB equals 50. Okay, so now we've solved for our new equilibrium with the tax. We have a quantity of 6 million uh, liters. Now when you go to the pump, the seller actually gets 36 cents per liter. You have to pay as a consumer, you pay 50 cents per liter, and the government gets that difference, that 14 cents difference. So if we're thinking about what that looks like in these graphs that we saw in class, and our supply curve, our demand curve. We had our old equilibrium, so we'll label our axes here, of eight and 40. We created this tax wedge of 14 cents. We're now selling six million liters. The bottom of this tax wedge is PS. PS equals 36. The top of this tax wedge is PB. PB equals 50. So finally, we're going to talk about incidence of taxation. So remember, incidence of taxation is, you know, who pays for how much of the tax. All right, so incidence of taxation. Okay. So for buyers, we want to think of what's the difference between the price they paid before the tax and now the price they pay after the tax. Oops, not a P, anything there. So it's the price the buyers pay after the tax minus the price they paid before. It's going to, how much of the taxes that they're actually paying. 
So in this case, that equals uh, they pay 50 after the tax, they paid 40 before, so they're paying 10 cents of the tax, 10 cents of the 14 cent tax. Where sellers, they used to get P dollars per liter of gasoline they sell, but after the tax they get PS. So the difference between that is gonna be how much of the tax they pay, which is gonna be 40 minus 36 is four cents. So those two things added together have to equal the whole tax. So you know if they don't, you've made a mistake somewhere. And so now we see that the buyers are paying most of the tax in this market. So they have a relatively inelastic demand curve relative to the supply curve. And so that's how you solve, um, algebraically solve uh, incidents of taxation.